this is my show I'm JD and I'm six foot on your floor If you don't like me, you can get a gun Just kill yourself, kill yourself, kill yourself You can get a gun, just kill yourself Kill yourself, kill yourself Get a gun, just kill yourself Nah, for real though, uh, I got some messages from my, uh, people, you know, on Facebook and YouTube, and they told me to upload a video about Rihanna and, uh, Chris Brown, but, I kinda really, I didn't wanna do it at first, but, I kinda went back to reflect them back to my mind, maybe I should do the video, because last week, if you haven't watched the video, you need to watch the video, you will be slapped first, and then watch this video, because I, a lot of stuff that I said, and you will be slapped, kind of reflects the Chris Brown and Rihanna incident. So they've been putting their hands on each other, okay? Chris Brown, been, I guess, been putting her hands on her. She's been putting her hands on him, okay? What did I say before? You put your hands on each other, you don't need to be together in the first place. Now, according to both sides, they say, they say on the Chris Brown side and Rihanna side, they say Rihanna always put her hands on Chris Brown, which was, you know, a no-no in the first place. You don't put your hands on anybody. So I guess, I guess Chris Brown either retaliated or he been beating her or whatever. First of all, Chris Brown is not a beater, okay? So just take that out, the whole little media. He's not a beater, just a little incident that happened. Young people, man, young people, man, just young love. That's all it is. I mean, what can you say about young love? Young love, basically, love will, will get you into a lot of stuff. Love will get you killed. Love will, will destroy your heart. Love will, love hurts. Love is everything. And every people always just think that love is just is supposed to be all good and handy and dandy. No, you can't have love without pain. So, and do I expect for them to be together after this? No. They say Rihanna got a broken. They say she got a bloody nose and she had a busted lip. I mean, I guess Chris Brown must have just hit her pretty pretty hard. I mean, I don't think it was just a one piece and out. I mean, unless he just got a big old fist and just got both of them. I don't think so. But what they trying to do, they trying to, um, they trying to charge Tr uh, Chris Brown for, uh, you know, assault with a deadly weapon. Now, he didn't have a weapon at the beginning, but since Chris Brown is certified as in martial arts, then they want to charge him with a deadly weapon because that is considered deadly when you know martial arts and use it against somebody that don't. So, when you use it, you better watch how you use it on people. So, just don't think that you can take karate class and not get your ass busted. You can't just go beating up everybody in the streets. No. What they do, they track you down and they look at your old previous, uh, you know, videotapes from when you spawn and when you get your black belt and everything. And when they see that you are certified, then they can now hold you accountable for being held as, you know, a threat to the public. I mean, hell, you got Chris Brown dancing everywhere and shit. Of course you know martial arts. I bet you he just probably just, wah, 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 wah. And I bet you he does feel bad about it. I believe deep down inside that Chris Brown is a good, humble person. Everybody loses sometimes. I lose sometimes. You know, I lose my temper sometimes. You know, I have been caught up in situations when I have hit people. And, you know, um, have I ever hit a female before? Have I ever hit a female before? No, I never actually, I never put my hands on a female before. I mean, unless you're talking about me elementary school then yeah of course I put my hands on female now would I put my hand on a female if she slapped me I'll let you answer that you know his career ain't going nowhere people think that his career gonna go downhill and everything it's not gonna go downhill the only thing I'm concerned about is just his fan base because now you know you had Britney Spears you got you know you got um Lindsay Lohan you got Hannah Montana all these people all these celebrities they going to jail being in drug rehab and all that, and I just feel sorry because, you know, a lot of kids look up to Chris Brown. A lot of little girls and boys that listen to Chris Brown and they want to dance like him, be just like him. I mean, he's marketable. He can dance, he can sing, you know, girls love him. They think he look good. The boy can do it all. So, I mean, I just feel sorry because I feel like, I feel like that he lost a lot of uh, cool points no matter what. But I do feel like at a certain point, you know, no matter how mad you get, if you ever get to the point where you feel like you about to hit somebody, 
just, especially a female, walk off. That's as real as I'm gonna get. Walk off, homie. Take it in, take it out. Take it in, take it out. I don't know what's been going on in his relationship. I heard that she was hitting on him or whatever. I heard that he's been slapped before by her. Plenty of times that he never, ever reacted. I guess he just got to the point where he just got tired of it and he just slapped her. Uh, life continues on. I mean, when you're in a spot like this, you know people are gonna blow you up. And it's also important for a person like you to not react in such a way because you know the whole world is watching you and I'm quite sure he knows that he's probably just going through a downfall. Everybody has a downfall. This is Chris Brown's first downfall so I think everybody don't need to be holding him against you know all the all the BS so just calm it down man it's alright man the man make mistakes she makes mistakes you know at the end somebody learned a valuable lesson he knows not to put his hand on female he went to jail he got to pay the price, you know, he's looking at a felony, but he's gonna be alright, he ain't going to jail or nothing, they probably gonna put him on community service hours, just like T.I., and at the end, Rihanna learned a valuable lesson, you know, so, she just ended up with a busted nose and a, uh, you know, and a busted lip, you know, not to put hands on people no more, I bet you she won't touch her next boyfriend like that, now, if it does come to another point that Chris Brown does put his hand on another female, then that's how you know that he has some issues. Hey man, it's all good, you know, I ain't really got too much to say. Just, I just hope everything worked out. Uh, JB, Spoken Reason, I'll let y'all. Love y'all.